breakfast time. What time? Please don't understand this, but we'll be, we'll be all dry. Help me by Owen Bell. Thomas, now take it to a group. We always wanted to hear you. It was so useful. That scary is very alright, but you wanna. You can make all of your robots. Joke to strike me. <laughs> My driver says I don't need to know. Let's back to the other days. You want to go out without your driver? That person. Oh, brilliant, Jen. I might, said Thomas. Just wait and see. It was dark the next morning, when the fire came. There was a fire in Thomas's firebox to stop it from burning. Thomas broke up and the other engines were still fast asleep. Thomas said, we never his boast. I'll show them, he said. My driver hasn't come yet. Here goes. He tried first one piston, then the other. That little thing he whispered to himself very, very quiet when he headed for the door. That was not he was being clever, but he was only moving because his head was clear. And bit of the wood has control and so it's going to stop. The twin just kept running along. Those poppers will stop me. So I said, hopefully. But his wheels left the rails and crunched onto the pavement. Oh no! He exclaimed and shut his eyes. Up ahead was a station messenger. He and his family were inside having breakfast of ham and eggs. Crash! The house rocked, broken glass tinkled. Only plastic peppered his with the family in his plates. And guess who? Head was poking through the wall, looking in. The station master angrily walked out and shut off Thompson's steam. That what would you done that? What what? You do to our breakfast? Scolded the station master's wife. No, we shall have to clock next time on board. She banged the door on the way to the kitchen. More plaster fell on Thomas. Thomas felt sad. The plaster tickled his nose. He wanted to say this, but he didn't dare in case the house fell at him. Nobody came a long time. And Everyone was much too busy. At one of prop up, the house was strong for the state light rails. They were gone and puffing hard. The twin engine turned up and smashed almost all his back to the yard. That was a small smoke stack was bent. Bits of fence, a bush, and a book wonderfully decorated his banner twisted front. He looked Quite silly. Twins left and left and Thomas knew he had behaved badly. So Tom and had the wary director came but to take a look. You're very northern said 
to Thomas. I no, sir, Thomas. I'm sorry, sir. You must have your front mended, Sir Thomas. I said. We will diesel will do your work. Diesel. Thomas, what? Thomas, what is the voice? No, Thomas. He's was always saying it since he's on so never run off to breakfast and station master's houses. That's the that's the talking hat. A diesel came the next day to help out that first he didn't want to stay in the engine shed. But he soon got used to working with the other engines. When Thomas came back all met him ready for work, he and Adil became good friends and now Thomas knows not to run off without his driving. He ends.